Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my collections of bread making. I have watched 40 over videos on bread making. The following method is the best that I found. People always wonder if Tang Zhong is important. After then two months of daily bread making, I can confidently tell you it is important. You can't tell the difference on the very day, but the next day, you will see a huge difference. The bread will turn tough and less chewy. So Tang Zhong is very important. First of all, I will recommend you try to find this bread. Big King's uh, bread flour, which is the most ideal. I have tried a lot, a lot of other bread, but this is still the most ideal. We need 125 grams of uh, flour of flour locally we call it flour set everything back to zero and we measure and of which this 125 we remove a 25 gram to make the tang zhong. I have measured 55 gram of water. Put it over the stove and then um, make until that you can find this result. Yeah, thick. It's about this consistency. Then we set them aside to cool down. We need two tablespoons of uh, milk powder. Set everything back to zero. I need two grams of yeast. Back to zero again. I need three grams of salt. Put it on the other side so that um, it doesn't touch the yeast. Set it back to zero again. This time around, we add in the sugar. I prefer brown sugar. One tablespoon will do because we are doing a, a small quantity. Half an and egg is usually at 45 grams, so I only need 22. Now we are all set, add in the tang zhong. Now you may mix it. Remember the egg also it must be in room temperature. We need only 20 grams of butter. I've already softened it in room temperature.
this is the result that we want so okay do not overwork your dough it's still a bit tacky and even sticky as well what you do now just add a bit of oil some people will put some butter but I'm trying to save up my butter so I use some oil you gotta set this aside um, for 90 minutes While we are waiting for the dough to be well proof, um, we can prepare the sausages. Make sure there's totally no water in it. I'll use the mayonnaise uh, tuna. Um, maybe just luncheon meat as well. As the filling. Hi guys, now it's after 90 minutes. Look at this. So you need a rolling pin. Carefully we remove this guy down. Gotta get rid of the air. Then we roll it up. Some people would put some flour because um, I'm using a silicone uh, silicone map, so actually it's quite waxy, so you don't actually need flour for this. Now we could um, just go back onto the weighing machine. So after I'm only making four of it, so it's pretty easy. So it's only actually sixty each of it. Okay, we got four of it evenly spread. Bring back the same pail. What I'll do now, I'm gonna shape them into ball first. With your finger out, keep turning this way so that the ball is tighter and the bottom we are trying to seal it up Now, we put it back to rest. Rest it for 15 minutes. I will make two pieces of tuna bun. Now this is after 45 minutes of proving. The half an egg just now I left. Together I add some milk. If you do not have milk, water, just one teaspoon will do. <clears throat> I'm 
showing you a closer look of my how my microwave behave when it's uh, baking. Uh, take a look at the textures of the uh, bread. Don't you feel like making a bite onto it? To look at the texture of uh, the bun that is done. Once it's out, I'll just glaze a bit of butter onto it. Use a wet towel, cover it, mm, say normally I will cover it to cool down, so normally it takes about 3 to 5 minutes and it will be super soft. So this is after what we have made, look at the texture. Thank you once again for watching and I do hope to see you again. My name is Michi, signing off here. Have a nice day.